Very cool, guys. Very, very cool. Bear with me. I'll set up the camera and we'll have a little bit of talk of what I just showed you. What's up, guys? Spook back here. Uh, what I just showed you is I ignited some fat wood here with the uh, Wazoo survival gear. Let me grab my knife here and put it back here, guys. Always good to know where your knife's at. Um, Wazoo survival gear, firecraft uh, necklace. And this is by no means a gimmicky little fire starting uh, device. That, uh, the guys from Wazoo Survival Gear, uh, who I got this from, uh, very much wanted me to reiterate that their gear is not, they don't put, ge they don't put gear out there that is knockoff crap or stuff that, uh, it's made in the USA for one thing, but they don't put stuff out there that will not help somebody if they get in a bad situation. So, you need to survive. Um, they're not going to sell products that aren't going to work for you. Now, I've got great big uh, gorilla hands, and it's freezing cold here in the garage. And I was still able, dexterity-wise, to get, ignite that fat wood. And with me, I always gather up birch bark and other things. I, then I ignite my fat wood. So I would have, with I, what I had there, easily been able to start my fire. And uh, so right there, that's a win-win. And as you can see on the ferro rod portion, I've been using it quite a bit the last day or so and uh, just testing it out and my favorite thing about it uh, for one it's a very high grade of uh, mesh metal ferrocium rod uh, deal uh, but the second thing or the thing I really love the most is that's a ceramic striker and what that translates to you uh, as a consumer what a ceramic striker means is that that's never going to dull it's not going to rust and it's always going to keep its sharpness we'll say so not uh, it's going to have the same shape I mean so you can just keep going with that and uh, strike, strike, strike away and not worry about it uh, wearing out or dulling. And some of the other ones I've had, honestly, guys, have dulled. They still work, but the, this one, honestly, guys, full disclosure, is the best working uh, one I've ever ever had, ever seen. Uh, so I really like that. On the back of it, it has one of these brake cords on it. So it snaps together, and then with tension, I didn't snap it the whole way. There was tension in a, in a decent amount, so this isn't going to loosen up, guys. I've taken this on and off about 15 times, and it's still just as tight as when I got it. Um, so if a ninja sneaks up on you and tries to choke you out, you can just pull it out and then kick their ass, right? So very, very cool that it has that brake cord. But what another claim to fame this is, because this is called their Firecraft uh, necklace, is that inside the actual paraci uh, paracord... Uh, it's 550 cord, but inside of it is actually fire cord, which is a cord that you can pull out and ball up into a tinder. So this whole unit is a self-contained fire-making necklace. So just with this, you can get a fire going. Now, I think I'll probably buy another one of these or get one somehow, and uh, then we'll use this one, the fire cord in it. But for now, testing reasons, and just because I love having it in my EDC, I'm not going to pull out the fire cord for this video. Um, I'll just use like the fat wood and in my Instagram I use cotton ball and Vaseline So I'll just try different tenders and uh, ignition sources with it and uh, it works great So great great piece of kit right there guys. I love how they thought outside the box and put the fire cord inside it So you've got cordage you've got a fire uh, You've got a good striker uh, This striker can be used to scrape things and whatnot, but I keep itself uh, contained to this uh, as this just only thing because it will, I tried it and it will scrape the fat wood even, but I don't like getting these really sticky and things like with the fat wood because that'll just impede the striking ability of it. So great, great piece of kit right there, guys. I'm going to put a link in the description to Wazoo Survival Gear. You can check out this and other cords they have. But the sort of piece de resistance uh, that I have from Wazoo, Sur Wazoo Survival Gear is this hat right here, guys. And what we have here is called their cache cap. And it is one of the coolest EDC slash outdoors items that's ever came down the road to me. I've seen some cool stuff, guys. I've had the I've had the opportunity and been blessed to be able to review a lot of products um, and do a lot of different things uh, in my uh, YouTube career, we'll say. And there's been about 10 different items that I was like, wow, I like that. That's cool. And I don't know how I got by without it. This cap right here is that type of deal, guys. So we'll just have a look at the cap first because it is very, very well made. Uh, it's got like an ACU kind of camo that's like adaptive sort of camouflage. And that means you can wear it basically right from the desert to the forest. 
uh, for the camouflage. So very nice digital digital type camo. And uh, no button on the top. That way if you're at the, at the shooting range or um, wearing a helmet, you know, like a tactical helmet or even a motorcycle, dirt bike, four-wheeler helmet, there's no button that's going to push into your head and hurt you. And I hate buttons on hats. And... I love how they did that, but their idea was a lot of people are tactical uh, people and people training, military, law enforcement, uh, search and rescue, Coast Guard, are going to have these type of hats, and they, a lot of them will wear he uh, headgear, like uh, your earmuffs. They say you put your ears on, that's what it means at a hunt, uh, shooting range. You can put the, have this hat and have those earmuffs on, and it's not going to hurt you, because there's no, there's no button. So very well made, um, very, very cool patch hat. So you can put your different uh, patches from your different buddies or your own patches on it. That says Wazoo right there. But what's very cool is they actually sell a patch that I'm gonna get. There's things, guys, I'm gonna get that we're gonna, I'm gonna show you down the road here from Wazoo. Um, they have another patch of their own that on the back of it, it's slid open and you can actually hide gear in that and then put it right back on here, so. You can have your own you have your own gear slid inside the patch, and then nobody's the wiser. Because another thing with this hat I really like is that the it's not screwing up where the patch is, so it doesn't stick out and look silly. Because half the time I don't care. I'm not out to win a fashion award, but I don't want to look like a goof. So I like having hats and stuff that look good. I'm very anal, honestly, guys, about hats. And I love this one. It's very well made. It's very comfortable. It's warm, actually, for a ball cap. and uh, But breathable, too. So just everything they did, and they took pride in finding the right materials and the right type of cap. So I really, really like this, guys. But what the, the claim to fame that's better about it, guys, is when you get inside the cap, okay? Because right here is a large pocket... And I put money in there yesterday. I had uh, spare keys in there. I've fooled around with a couple little kits to put in it, but I took it out for this, took the stuff out I was playing with to, for the video because I want you to look at their website because on their site they actually have pre made kits that you can buy along with your cache cap to fill the whole thing out right off the bat with survival gear. So you can go through them and get it. So I wasn't going to put a whole bunch of stuff in here um, when you can see what they have uh, on the website that they recommend that they actually sell even. That's things that are only made to size that will actually will fit this. And you could put your own stuff, but they have a whole kit. So I got to get one of them kits, guys. I already decided that last night. 100% got to get one of those kits. Uh, but as I said, guys, you can put money in here. You could put spare keys. You could put medicine. You could put documents, anything. And that's very well hidden inside your cap. And it doesn't... I filled this right up with a whole bunch of stuff, just miscellaneous stuff to see. And it doesn't get in your way. Um, down to the side here, guys, there is two other, other pockets. You can see the key will slide in there like this. So there's a pocket on this side that can fit like a ferrocerium rod that they have. And then there's another pocket over on this side also that slides down in that you could put uh, things in. So there, they had a, a ceramic striker on this side and a ferro rod on this side. And then money, keys, all kinds of other things in the middle. Now you get inside the hat though, this is, it gets even cooler. And it has a very, very strong, let me reiterate that, very strong mesh. And it's also another pocket, guys. So you got a pocket on the top there of this part of the uh, hat. And then on the sides, you've got two other pockets. You got a pocket here with that strong mesh that fold, that flaps over so nothing's going to fall out. Pocket there. And then you turn around the other side and there's also another pocket in here. So one, two, three, four, five, basically six or seven different places you can put things. And you've got to watch the Wazoo uh, Survival Gear uh, site uh, and Instagram because they show all the stuff, guys. You wouldn't believe the things that they can fit in this. So i got to get that kit, guys, but just a wicked nice hat and wicked innovative. Um, like I said, think about having your spare key. Think about having a, a little survival kit, a way to start fire, um, spare money. Um, if you live in an area where it's a little bit uh, shady, you know, you could put 50, 60, or, you know, you could probably fit $1,000 in this hat probably right in the front. If you had $1,000 bills or whatever, you could fit a lot of money inside this hat. You could just fit in your coffee money. 
you're running out to the store and you got a pair of shorts on, you want to bring 40 bucks with you, throw it in the hat. You don't got any pockets. That's the type of thing, guys. So it's not just a, you know, just a fitting that one niche of the survival guy. It's fitting an niche of EDC. It's fitting an niche of just second kind of cool, I guess. And it's also, uh, you know, a great item for the outdoors. So anyway, guys, that's a couple items from Wazoo Survival Gear. Uh, check out my Instagram. I'm going to get into more in depth with it. We're going to go out and actually start a fire with uh, the fire cord necklace. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to wait until I can get the kit to put in this and then we'll go from there or if i find other things first i'll put it in but i really would like to get hands on one of those kits guys because it'll show you more where they're thinking but for now to like check that out right now i'll put a link in the description obviously to wazoo survival gear check out what they're putting in these hats guys you're going to be impressed so anyway guys spook signing out stay safe and stay tuned appreciate you